Hi viewers, you are welcome to another episode of Start Pro. In this episode, you will be analyzing a swimming pool. So this is the, um, the swimming pool. You can see on the right, we have the three-dimensional view of the swimming pool. And at the left, we have um, two sections, which is the longitudinal and the cross sections. Okay, so you can see that the length of the swimming pool is 7.5 meter. So that is 7,500 mm. And we have the height to be 2,000 mm. We have the width to be 2,500 mm. Okay, so this is the um, swimming pool we are going to um, analyze. It is just a simple swimming pool. You can see the geometry is not that complex, so it will be very easy to you know to model, and then we can do the analysis. So let's go to Start Pro, and we can begin. So in Start Pro, you can just create a new project, and then you click on Space, and then you um, you give it a name. Right, but if you want to work with a plane surface, you know, well, I'm working with this plane surface, which is a 3D, okay? So let me give it a um, swimming pool. Let me just name it swimming pool, okay? Then make sure this is in meter and this is in kilonewton, or just make sure it is in the units you wish to use, okay? Click on next, and then um, yes. And then here, I will be running the structure wizard okay i'll be running the structure wizard you can check um you can check on um, episode five i think episode five or episode six in that episode that's where i showed you how you can model a frame using the structure wizard so you can know more about the structure wizard when you watch um that um, episode so you can actually go to add beam and then from there you go to structure wizard but i prefer to go to structure wizard from here directly so i'll go to finish then this will pop up the um, structure wizard. What you should know is that when we are working with the structure wizard, it will ask us for point A, point B, point C. So let me just um, try to tell you what those points are. So um, this point, that's where you have um, point A, okay? And then um, this point A down here, you have point B. And then this point, that's point C. This point, that's point D, okay? So you should know that point A should be zero on the X point b should be 2.5 meter on the x okay and then zero on the y okay then what about point c that should be 2.5 on the x and then 2.0 on the y okay then you should know what point d should be okay so we are just trying to you know insert the the position of all of this a b c d so let's go back to start pro okay so let's go back to the geometry and then you can go to um surface slash plate model so click on that and then i'll click on the chord plate double click on that okay so um the name is not essential i don't need to change that and then so for point a that is zero 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 what about point b on the x that should be 2.5 and on the y it should be zero what about point c on the x it should be 2.5 but that's 2.5 meter and on the y two meter okay on d zero and two meter okay so this is what we are expecting I will leave the division as it is then i'll just click on apply so this is what we have then you can click on transfer model which is this click on transfer model or you click on close anyone so let me click on transfer model click on yes and then it will ask me the position let it place it at the origin so i'll let that place it at the origin click on okay so this is what we have now um what we just did is that we've just created this plate here We've just created this face here, okay? This face here, that's what we need to create. So I that's what we've just created. So I'm going to create this other face, okay? So all I just need to do is create this same thing. Then now we you know I'll just make it to come forward. So to do that, go back to then we're going to run the structure wizard one more time. Go to geometry, structure wizard, and then we go to plates, you know, plate model, chord plates, and then this should be um 2.5 right it should be zero they should be 2.5 it should be zero and this should be like this so just click on apply and then i told you you can use the um the close just click on close and then click on yes now what you will change here this will not be at the origin anymore because if you still place it at the origin it will still be on the original you know it will just be like uh, you know an interpolation of what we've done before so you can put this on the origin again now we are going to put it at um 7.5 in the z now 7.5 in the z you know the length of the swimming pool is 7.5 meter so that's why i'm placing it at 7.5 meter so click on okay 
okay so you can now see where it is being where it is being placed okay go to this one which is the um generate surface machine click on it then you need to connect this last node you connect it to the last one here then you come here you connect it to this one and then you go back to the first one okay then you can click on quadrilateral machine click on ok and now how do i want to measure this is um 2.5 right let this be 10 then this let this be 30 and then uh, let this be let this be 30 as well okay because you know 7.5 is three times greater than 2.5 so i want the division to be three times greater than the division of that as well so i'm just click on apply so we have that so let's continue i'll pick this point and then you know you have to be very careful with this um then click this point all right and then click this last point click this last point and then this other point so go to quadrilateral click on ok then make this to be um 30 just like as we did then make this to be 30 okay then click on apply then we are going to do for the last side which is here so click on this portion click on here click on the last one click on the last one here and go back to the first one quadrilateral okay and then make this to be 30 also make this to be 30 and then click on apply so now we have um, the swimming pool ready the next thing will be to assign the property to them so you can go to um general and then you go to property okay so here i'll pick thickness i'll be having two thickness for the bottom plates i'll be having a thickness of um, 125 mm and for the four walls you know the side walls i'll be having a thickness of 200 mm okay so uh, let's do that um, let this be 0 0.125 meter so add that and i'm going to have another one which is 0 0.2 meter so add that as well and then you close now i need to assign to this i need to assign this first one which is the bottom to do that you can just go to um select and then you go to plate that is parallel to um x z you know that plate is parallel to x direction and also parallel to the z direction so you can assign to selected plates so that is how you can check take that so let's assign this other one now you have different ways of assigning you just need to select so for example if i want to select the four plates um let me show you how you can select you can go to select and you can go to missing attributes then you go to missing property now obviously it will select all of this okay it will select all of this another you can do is you can go to select and then you go to plate you go to plate palette to xy so you select this and select this you go to select one more time and then you say parallel to um why is it there to select this so that way you've selected all of the four so it depends on how you want to select you know you have several ways of selecting okay click on yes so that is one advantage of um of start pro all right so um the next step will be to assign the support so go to um support and then go to create and then you can create a fixed support and then um you click on the support then you can put this in front view and then just make sure you select all of the bottom nodes like this okay if you put it back in the isometric view you are going to see that all of the bottom nodes have been selected so that is why it is essential you put it in front view before you um, assign that it does not necessarily need to be the front view it can be any view just make sure you uh, select all of them together but if you put it in the isometric view and then you are holding control then selecting all of the nodes one by one you are going to waste time and then you definitely make mistakes okay so let's assign that to selected nodes and click on assign then yes now you have all of the support okay so as simple as that so the next one will be um the load definition we have to load um the swimming pool okay so we have to do that in the next video okay so watch out for the next episode